we don't have the accurate data at the moment. Unlike, let's say, in UK, America, and Europe, where you know accessibility to data and the cooperation between different, let's say, uh, hospitals or research centers is more robust in the African region, this is not how it is. It's really challenging to even have estimates. I know that there are estimates from, let's say, Alzheimer's disease international, et cetera, on a dementia in Africa, but those are, those are just estimates. Unfortunately, those are not accurate estimates because we don't really have the data. And so because of that, we don't really know whether dementia onset and relationship is similar between, let's say, African-Americans and Africans, or even between Africans and Europeans. We need more work to be able to understand that. But of course, also we know that people understand that the uh, life expectancy in Africa, people always argue that it's lower than in other places. Therefore, because of that, we may not have a lot of dementia. But in reality, there, had to be, there is dementia in, 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 even in our communities. I had a grand aunt who, who had dementia before she passed away, but she didn't go to the hospital to be diagnosed. We didn't know what type of dementia she had. And I have worked in neuro, federal neuropsychiatric hospital before moving to the UK, and we see people having that. But most of the times there is stigma, and apart from that, also because of the lack of the expertise to diagnose that or the tools, we don't really know how much it is a problem. So this is why this type of work is really, really important for us to understand this type of, uh, the differences that may exist due to genetic background or due to the environmental factors.